got our juicer hooked up going into the oil pressure port because so I want to make sure everything's good to go and, and particularly I want to make sure that this timing chain pumps up as we look still kind of squishy so I just want to make sure it'll pump up Alright, I've got oil to the top of the motor. And you can hear it squishing. So it's pumping up pretty good. You can hear it squishing the oil out of there. So we'll give her a little more. We've got about a quart in the primer. This makes a real mess when <clears throat> this makes a real mess when you got the engine apart still. You can see it dripping out of the. We're pumped up. That's good to go right there. So we're nice and oily, nice and messy, and we got oil everywhere. Side of the block. And, um, so coming out of the cam journal is nice. So we're going to, I'm going to finish reassembling it, and then we'll pick up, and we'll put it in there. Well, it's uh, Saturday morning in the shop. See, it's pitch black out. There's my car. And it's 5 a.m. Five a.m. on a Saturday at the shop. You know what that means? That means it's gonna be over a hundred degrees today. I think they're calling for 110 degrees with the heat index. So Bradley's gonna try to get something done in an effort not to melt. So we're gonna finish assembling this engine put it in and we'll see where I'm at at 8.30 provided I don't have any interruptions uh, Saturday's kind of an oil change day Now this crank pulley bolt's beyond tight. Um, so I really need to get the flywheel on here so I can hold this engine. All right, it's, it's, it's really, really tight. So I'll get a little further along and then I'll torque that. So I'm in the process of putting this together and I'm at the harness stage. And if you'll notice, see all this right here? gooey stuff that's glue and a common problem especially on Fords something you definitely need to watch out for if you have an electrical problem 
Um, this heat shrink has glue in it, which is great because it keeps out the moisture. The problem is these harnesses uh, conduct a lot of electricity and a lot of generate a lot of heat. And when they do, I mean, this is, the, this is the whole ground wire for the system here. The glue will start to, so when they first heat shrink it, the glue will go out so far and stop. And then if this wire starts generating a lot of heat, well, the glue will continue to run, and it will actually run under the fastener, which is what it's done here. I mean, this whole fastener is coated with this rubbery plastic, um, ground wire, excuse me. You can look and see where the bolt was actually in, uh, kind of made an impression within it. That stuff actually ran under the bolt. So that's got to be cleaned up. I mean, if I put that together like that, it's not going to make any contact for nothing. And we won't have a good solid ground. So I'll clean that up, clean that up, and I'll continue on. Getting ready to set this engine in. Before I do that, I'm going to do a little housekeeping. Just makes it makes me feel better about myself. <clears throat> when you got all the doors open up during the summertime, or for me all year, even during the winter, uh, a lot of trash blows in from outside, and it just collects. In this case, around these jack stands, it's going to sweep the floor. And I got a whole bunch of antifreeze. That It in the subframe, so I'm gonna clean that out while I've got access to it. All these bolts over here, they're in bags. I'll take those bolts out and put them in my cart drawer, so I'll have them laid out. So I can just, as soon as I get the engine made it up, I can just boom, 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 throw the bolts in it. These, this is fine right here. All these parts are ready to go on, so I'm gonna leave them right where they're at. They're uh, nice and organized. I will move these tires though. And um, I gotta get my little bottle jack out of there and put an actual floor jack under the transmission. I don't know, that might. I'll have to look at that when I come in with it. It's, it, it's hard to get the floor jack under there with the bottle jack already in the way. You know, a couple of interesting things. I mean, we don't have to worry about any engine mounts, which is nice. Uh, but it's hard to get the engine in and out. Especially this is all-wheel drive, so the PTU is really in the way. So you put the exhaust manifold on afterwards, which is kind of odd. And this is really odd because it doesn't have any torque motor studs. It's got three bolts. Which you think would be nice, but then they put this ridiculous pilot on here and it hung up in the crankshaft and pulled the torque motor out. And 15 quarts of trimmers flew around all over the floor. So I'm gonna sweep up real quick, get up any spotty oily spots, and um, prep this thing, get it ready to put in. Right there is all that's needed to make this into a transmission. That's it. <clears throat> the rest of the bolts in the bags are to put the chassis separating back together. And any other bolts are back in the hole they came out of. Because this thing is going to be apart for a while. So like, I just put those back so I don't have to figure out where they go. Same way for the actual support. The bolts are in the old block. So I just transfer them over when I get to that point. So hopefully it's going to go together pretty easy because I don't have to line up any studs. So let's see what happens.
together uh, not torqued obviously but brought in where nothing's damaged it's real close to the subframe I mean we're real close on this uh, sensor extremely close on this you know, tip hanging off the uh, front cover here next uh, let's see here Sure, torque converter will turn. And it will. So, trapped. Free. I'm gonna cut from here. So I mean, that's that's basically putting it together. I was gonna use the dowels, but it's just too close to the subframe. This wouldn't work. And it, Really didn't need to, so it worked out pretty good. Um, now I'm just going to put everything back together, and then it's nuts and bolts. And then when we get uh, ready to put the subframe in the vehicle, we'll uh, get some footage of that. I think we got it together good enough to uh, go ahead and install. I think the weatherman got it wrong today. It's it's only about a hundred. Maybe 101. So, a little cooler than anticipated. They like that uh, power wire they got there. They got a power wire going to the trailer hitch. And they ran it through that, so I couldn't take it off. So, she's a dangler. So this thing's ready to rock and roll, ready to, uh, it can actually run sitting right here. Got everything laid over as far as I think I can get it to go. That way when we lower the body down, it won't snag on everything. Uh, it's really, really cool, it's really modular. I mean, the exhaust disconnects, the rear drive shaft disconnects, uh, the fuel line, the vapor line, couldn't get any simpler. All the coolant hoses are just right here, just right there, there, heater hoses there and there. I mean, it's really compact, really nice, nice to work on. Let's bring them together.